Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to implement step-by-step one-to-one entity mapping using Hibernate and MySQL database. So we use add one-to-one JP annotation to perform one-to-one -one mapping. All right, and I would like to discuss three different variations of this mapping supported by Hibernate. So first is foreign key mapping, and second using common join table, and third using shared primary keys. All right, let's have a look into each of them with an example. So first is Hibernate one-to-one -one mapping with a foreign key association. So in this kind of uh, association, a foreign key column is created in a owner entity. Okay, so observe the diagram here. We have employee and account table and the employee is a owner of this uh, mapping. Okay, and the employee is the owner entity. So it has a foreign key column of uh, account table. Okay. So account table has ID as a primary key, so it becomes a foreign key in an employee table. All right, so this is the Hibernate one-to-one -one mapping with a foreign key association. So we will see an example later. So first we will see that these three, uh, you know, different variations. So let's try to understand the concept and then later we will see the example and demo. Okay, so second is Hibernate one-to-one -one mapping with a common join table. So in this technique, a main annotation to be used that is add join table. So this annotation is used to define a new table name and foreign keys from the both tables. For example, look at the diagram here. Uh, the, we have account and employee table and this is the employee underscore account table. Okay. So this new table is created by using add join table and the primary foreign keys of both the tables are stored in this table. Okay. So account table has ID as a primary key and employee table has ID as a primary key. So both these columns become a foreign key in employee underscore table uh, account table. Okay. So this is the third table that is created uh, during this uh, association or during this technique. Okay. So third unit is Hibernate one-to-one -one mapping with shared primary key. So in this technique, Hibernate will ensure that it will use a common primary key value in both tables. Okay, so look at here the diagram we have employee and account table and employee table have has ID as a primary key and account table also has a ID as a primary key. So both so both the both the primary keys of both tables have the same primary key value. Okay, so Hibernate will ensure that it will use a common primary key value in both tables. Alright. So so let me switch to the Eclipse ID and let me demonstrate each of this technique with an example. So first we will see Hibernate one-to-one -one mapping with foreign key association. All right. So I am an Eclipse ID and here I have created a Hibernate project to demonstrate this one-to-one -one mapping example. And I have implemented all these three techniques. And uh, uh, I will just uh, explain you the source code and the implementation. All right. So the foreign key association is widely used and it's a common technique. Uh, okay, so this is the primary key association and it has two JPA entities. One is employee and another is account. Okay, let's have a look into the employee JPA entity first. So look at here, employee entity is a Java class which implements serializable interface. And we have used a lot of JPA annotations here. For example, add entity, add table annotation, add unique constraint annotation. So add entity annotation is used to make this Java class as a JP entity and add table annotation is used to provide a you know, relational uh, database table details like employee is our table name and we can provide uh, you know, uh, unique constraints for this table. For example, ID and email. Okay, and you can also provide a schema name, etc. All right. So look at here, we are, we, are, we are using at id, at generated value and at column jp annotation. So at id annotation is used to make this field as a primary key and at generated annotation is used to uh, you know provide a primary key generation strategy. Okay, we are right now we are using identity primary key generation strategy and we use at column annotation to provide a column details like column name and it's a unique or uh, you know uh, null label etc. Okay, so this employee entity has employee ID, post name, last name, and email fields. 
and we have provided a column names by using add column annotation for each of the fields it's pretty simple and look at the look at here the important part we have account you know account field uh, in an employee table the employee class and this account field is annotated with add one to one annotation and we are using add join column annotation here okay so uh, so this account underscore id column is newly created in this employee table and this is a foreign key uh, for account table okay it's pretty simple let's have a look into the account entity now so account account is a simple java class which is annotated with the add entity at table at any constraint annotation and once we use a jp annotation on top of java class then it becomes a jp jp entity class okay and which will be mapped with a database listener table and this account table uh, has a previous like account id employee account number and these fields are annotated with uh, uh, add column annotation to provide the column name to these respective fields and here again we are using add id add generated value to provide a primary key and primary key generation strategies it's perfect right and look at here uh, in account table also we have employee field and in employee field is also uh, no, uh, annotated with add one to an annotation and look at here we are, we are using map by uh, attribute so this uh, attribute or, or element is only specified on the inverse side of the association okay so this is kind of bi-directional so we can also fetch uh, account uh, using employee all right so it's a pretty simple foreign key association and what i will do i will run this application and uh, i will show you the demo then we'll later we'll move to the join table and share a primary key okay so look at here in a test uh, package under test package i have created a respect to test classes it has a habernet uh, source code for example let me first explain a habernet util class so habernet util class uh, is just an uh, utility class it provides a singleton instance of session factory object so in my previous habernet tutorials where i have explained you how to create a java or habernet configuration with a step by step example so probably we can have a look into it uh, to learn how to configure habernet using java configuration all right, so look at here, we have configured Hibernet using XML configuration and we have provided database details and also we have provided uh, entity mapping. Okay, so in case of foreign key association, we have provided entity uh, employee and account entity mapping here. Okay, and in case of uh, shared primary key and joint table, also we have provided um, employee and account table. Okay, so to distinguish between these two three techniques, I have created a separate package and I have kept uh, you know related uh, JP entities under that package. So let's test this foreign key association now. So this is a test Java class, it has a main main method, and inside the main method we have created a session object. So basically, we get a session factory. Uh, it uh, we use a open session method to get a session object, and we start the transaction. And within this transaction, we create a, a account uh, a account uh, object, and we set account number here. And we create a new employee object, and we provide the, all the employee details. And first, we will save the account, and then once we save the account then it, it it gets a primary key for this this account object and we set that account object to the employee object and then we, we use a save or update method to either save this employee object or update so in our case it will save the new new employee according to a table and then we commit the transaction and then we set down the habernet habernet session packet all right it's pretty simple uh, it's pretty simple uh, program okay so in the habernet configuration dot xml we have provided all the database related stuff so this is the java underscore demo uh, database and we have created in a 
MySQL workbench. So look at here. So this is the Java underscore demo table. So let me drop all the tables so that uh, I can showcase everything. Yeah, here we go. I dropped all the tables. Now what I will do, I will run this program. So first uh, I will comment out this portion. Okay, so I keep the foreign key association entities that is employee and account and then now we will run this program and let's see the output. Okay, perfect. Open the test foreign key association Java class, right click, run add Java application. Now let's have a look into the output. So the output is very important because what are the tables are created and what is the records are inserted and which tables are dropped everything will be available here so look at here uh, drop table if exist account employee all right so we have provided create a drop at a ddl property in uh, in a hibernate configuration file that's why hibernate will post drop the table and that will it will create a new table so in this foreign key association you get here uh, um, account and employee table is created and uh, also the record is inserted in both the tables okay let's switch to the bicycle workbench and let's see the tables are created how the tables are created so look at here two tables are created account and employee and in employee table uh, account id is added newly added as a foreign key perfect right i hope you understand this uh, uh, foreign key association in case of want to mapping okay let's quickly go through the other two techniques that is a join table so let's have a look into the employee and account uh, jp entities so the, the source code is almost same only the mapping is uh, different so look at first employee jp annotation so look at here the one-to-one -one entity mapping uh, and uh, we are using add join table annotation all right so we are using this annotation to create a new table that is an employee underscore account and we provide a join columns here so employee id and uh, account id these are the foreign key keys okay and employee id and account id these are the primary key of employee and account table and this becomes a foreign key in this employee underscore account table okay so this is the important and you know account uh, jp entity is same as we have previously gone through it all right let's go ahead and let's first change the configuration here so we can do we can do this portion now i do uncomment this perfect so now look at here uh, we are using the join table entities entities that is a uh, employee open. perfect now open this join table right click on a job application oops before that we need to drop the tables right so quickly go to the mysql workbench and let's drop this to table so that we can see the how the tables will be created in my I click on the Java application. So we get the output uh, of the our console. So tables are dropped. And new tables are created by Hibernet. And look at here the new table is created in for account by using joint table annotation, right? So right now we have three tables. One is employee account and employee underscore account. These are three tables and three tables, three records are inserted in all the three tables. So look at the uh, uh, tables in MySQL workbench. Let me refresh and look at here, three tables are created. All right. So I hope you got the, uh, you know, how to create one to mapping using a joint table annotation. Perfect, right? So look at here, the account ID and employer, uh, employer ID. These are the two foreign uh, keys of uh, account and employee table. Perfect. Now let's quickly go through the uh, third one that is our shared primary key. So before running this program, 
let's quickly change the entity mapping here let me uncomment on this portion and let's comment on this perfect now so let's understand the same privacy uh, So look at here the important annotation that is add parent key join to annotation. Okay. So we specify a primary column that is used as a foreign key to join another table. Okay, so this annotation says that specify is a primary key column that is used as a foreign key to join to another table. Okay, it means that the same primary key value will be used in both the primary key tables. Okay, let me demonstrate. Again, account table will be the same, and only we annotate at all to one uh, mapping able to annotation on top of employee field. Okay, let's go ahead and let's open. Uh, let's run this Java program. So before that, we need to drop the tables, right? Right here, drop three tables. Perfect. Now let's run this program. Right click on the Java application, and let's have a look into the output. Any point to look at the output now look at here two tables are created employee and account and uh, uh, let's have a look into the records here in the employee table and account table both both the uh, tables should have same primary key okay id right id all right the primary key value of uh, both the table primary key column should be same all right so this is how uh, the three uh, important uh, you know variations that is supported by hibernate but the first one is uh, very commonly used that is a foreign key one-to-one -one mapping with the foreign key association all right so foreign key will be created in a, a owner entity okay uh, i hope you understood all the three uh, different variations of this mapping supported by hibernate that is using foreign key association using common common join table using shared primary key okay so let me know if you have any questions or any doubts about this tutorial so leave a comment in the comment section so that i will i can help you and let me know if you have encountered any issues errors exceptions in the comment section so that i, I will help you out all right thanks for watching i will see you in the next video